1989, the whole world first learned about the presence of the B-2 Spirit Bomber, considered the most modern and expensive technological wonder on the planet. More than 30 years have passed, it is still the only stealth strategic bomber in the world that has accompanied the US military throughout CS battlefields. It seemed like there would be no rival capable of matching the airborne supremacy of the United States. However, history has proven that no weapon is invincible. The Pakda is the first new generation stealth bomber project by Russia since the dissolution of the Soviet Union. What factors have led Moscow to confidently believe that the Pakda will surpass the B-2 Spirit as the reigning phantom of the skies? Join Eagle Fighter Jet in exploring and deciphering the secrets of this challenge right now. Russia, one of the rare countries possessing stealth aircraft technology, shares this status with only the United States and China. However, not all competitors in the stealth technology domain are on equal footing. Russia's stealth technology, particularly applied to the Sukhoi Su-57 fighter jet, is considered to lag behind compared to other rivals. In fact, the Su-57 is regarded as the least stealthy fifth-generation aircraft currently available. This is a result of setbacks in stealth technology, and Russia faces significant challenges in trying to maintain its position in the international race for stealth aircrafts. Certainly, stealth is not merely a single technology. It is a system that combines multiple technologies, manufacturing methods, and tactics, combined to limit or prevent detection of aircraft flying over contested areas. Russia is facing no small challenge to improve its stealth capabilities and maintain power in the modern military field. In the 21st century, stealth aircrafts face significant challenges, limiting radar detection from all directions, concealing substantial heat generated by engines to avoid infrared detection and target locking, while also possessing the capability for jamming and electronic warfare. In an era where dominance in the sky becomes a standard of warfare, Russia, without hesitation, swiftly manufactures unique stealth strategic bombers. According to the Russian military's plan, the Pakda is intended to replace the long-range Tu-95 and partially fulfill the functions of the Tu-160. The mission of the Pakda is to penetrate enemy air defenses and deliver nuclear weapons to target areas, not derived from Soviet-era predecessors. The Pakda is developed from scratch to compete with similar aircraft from the United States, representing a determined innovation from Moscow. When looking at the Pakda, a sense of familiarity emerges, as if encountering it somewhere before. Its wing design resembles that of the US B-2 Spirit and B-21 Raider stealth bombers. This design not only helps reduce the weight of the aircraft frame, but also enhances its payload capacity, with few protruding fins and no angle to reflect radar signals. The Pakda promises to be a formidable stealth adversary, excelling in low-frequency radar evasion, a characteristic highly praised in the B-2 spirit. By following this path, the Pakda has established a solid foundation for itself. However, Russia's stealth technology remains limited, especially when it comes to mass production of aircrafts. A minor flaw in a stealth fighter or bomber could lead to serious consequences on the perilous battlefield. Seams between fuselage panels can also be reflected to enemy radar. Even opening the weapon's compartment door without caution can pose a potential risk of detection and revealing the aircraft's location. In contrast to the United States, where priority is placed on stealth capabilities in development. Russia sees this feature as one of the important factors, but not at the forefront compared to speed or maneuverability. The partial stealth capability of the Pakda is a compromise, and it is expected that this aircraft may use advanced long-range weapons to carry out its missions. Always staying within the protective bubble of Russian air defense systems, Professor Vadim Kuzlin at the Military Science Academy 
pointed out in Russia Beyond. Currently, the Russian Air Force is equipped with long-range missiles, KH-55s and KH-101s, with a range of up to 5,000 kilometers. This is why Moscow does not see the need to prioritize long-range bombers anymore. Now, strategic bombers can carry out their basic missions without leaving Russia's borders, safely protected under the strength of air defense systems. According to information from Russia, the Pakda will not only have the capability to carry various types of nuclear and conventional weapons, but will also integrate strongly with UAVs. All these types of weapons will be neatly housed inside the aircraft's body, creating an effect that significantly reduces the opponent's radar detection capabilities. Among the available hot items is the hypersonic missile Kinzhal, a new masterpiece that Russia is diligently developing and perfecting. The KH-47M2 Kinzhal, a hypersonic ballistic missile, has a range exceeding 2,000 kilometers and a maximum speed reaching Mach 10, equivalent to 12,300 kilometers per hour. It can carry nuclear or conventional warheads with a nuclear payload weighing up to 500 kilograms. With its high speed and maneuverability during flight, the Russian military confidently asserts that King Zal has the capability to overcome any air defense systems that Washington is currently using. A resolute statement indeed. Notably, US defense officials have also warned that current air defense systems cannot cope with hypersonic weapons, providing a clear alert about the level of threat that these missiles could pose to US targets. In October 2021, Russia widely announced a distinct aerial weapon, none other than the KH-95, integrated directly into the armament bay of the Pakda. This is not just a long-range hypersonic missile, but also equipped with a variety of bombs, actively carrying out conventional bombing attacks within the adversary's territory. Specific details about this aircraft are still kept confidential, but it appears that the Pakda will be equipped with two engines, with a range of up to 12,000 kilometers, which is more than a quarter of Earth's circumference. It is expected that the payload capacity of the Pakda reach it up to 30 tons, will surpass that of the USB-2 Spirit. Furthermore, it doesn't stop there. The spiritual child of the Tupolev-designed burrow is sure to be a supersonic aircraft. The Pakda project has been discussed since the late 1990s, and financial progress for the program became in 2008. Although the preliminary design only approved by the Russian Ministry of Defense, and the anticipated timeline for mass production is by the end of 2027. They expect the Pakda to rival the B-2 Spirit and be unveiled by 2029. Are you excited to imagine what Russia's line of strategic bombers can bring? However, incorporating the Pakda into the Russian Aerospace Forces arsenal is not expected to happen soon, as Russian aircraft designers have learned from producing the US F-35 stealth fighter they will not only focus on meeting the orders from the Russian Ministry of Defense, but also emphasize the optimal quality of the new aircraft model. With this vision, the Pakda is not only the most significant threat to the US in any Russian defense program, but also an icon of innovation and a strong challenge. However, the world still needs to wait and see whether this bomber is truly stealthy or merely exists on paper in design simulations. Meanwhile, the United States has strongly declared the initiation of the production process for the new B-21 Raider Stealth Strategic Bomber, aiming to replace the technologically outdated B-2 Spirit. The intense race between the two world-leading military powers, Russia and the United States, promises dramatic ups and downs, especially in the field of stealth bomber manufacturing, where confrontation and competition are escalating. Thus, the exploration journey into the Pakda stealth bomber has come to a halt. Can this new face emerge at the right time and bring about remarkable success as advertised? Please share your predictions below so that we can discuss the promising future together. 
Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share to explore interesting things together. Goodbye and see you in the upcoming videos.